Hello everyone, this is Dell OptiFlex 7010 USFF all-in-one you could say all-in-one PC because the actual monitor and CPU comes together so today we're going to upgrade the RAM this machine is old but still it's quite fast and good for any sort of small office and home user so today we're going to use that one this is one of the cheapest SSD from Amazon it doesn't have any M.2 so we're going to use SATA SSD in here so that's the front that's the back and first we're going to take out this panel and before we do that we must have to remove all the connectors that you can see so the video cable then cat5 cable power cable and everything then there is a lock as you can see it's a latch okay if you do that this is unlocked and you can pull this out that way and we're going to leave this monitor okay but still this PC inside the caddy as you can see this is a caddy we need to take out actual uh, CPU unit the PC unit there is a lock underneath as you can see this is lock lock sign if you push it that way it's going to be unlocked and you can see the unlock sign so let's put it sometimes a little bit stiff so when orange color comes we can uh, take this out in that way so it's going to pop out if you push it to the back side okay so that's the actual caddy and this is the actual pc now it's easy we can upgrade it as you can see so remember when you put it back it has to be from the back to the front okay all right so now we're going to take out this screw you can use your fingertips or you can use any sort of flat or phillips screwdriver now before you pull this metal part out make sure you remove the front panel which is the plastic one secured with three on the top and two at the bottom plastic prom in there and once it's taken out then you can pull this one towards you and before you do that all the way out make sure you remove all those cable set a cable set a power cord uh, from the DVD drive and from the hard drive so this is old-fashioned 2.5 inch set, uh, set a hard drive we're gonna take this out which is secure with four screws you can use just a phillips screwdriver to remove it and once the four screw removed then we can just pop this out in the front way and we can put the new ssd in so take this out take your hard ssd whatever you have whichever you like and then we're going to install it right here so this machine is quite old but still it's quite fine for Windows 10 it does have 8 gig of RAM so 8 gig of RAM Core i3 processor which is the fourth gen and SSD that would be a really good combination and I think I can use it for another couple of years it depends how long I get the updates for Windows 10 you know so now we're gonna secure the four screws it's a little bit tricky what you need to do you just need to play with it to get the four screws into the place as you can see it doesn't reach until you push it towards the screw hole the actual ssd and there is one more so we're going to tidy it and it should be fine once it's done then physically we can close it and we'd reinstall windows 10. now i could clone the actual windows 10 old one but the old system does have a lot of viruses and stuff like that so i just want to do a clean installation and that would be a proper upgrade for this pc so four screws already uh, secured properly now we're going to connect back all the power code and data cable for the ssd and for the dvd drive both you know so once it's done then we can pop this in to the place and then the plastic front cover so remember first the bottom part goes okay and then you just click it so like that just to click and it's absolutely brilliant now the top cover and once the top cover is done then we can put this into the actual caddy and the caddy would go to 
behind the monitor. As I said, always from the back to the front, not from the front to the back, okay? So it goes exactly that way. Push this in and it should go. There is some sort of mistake that we've done. Yeah, I put it upside down. Now it's fine, as you can see, without any struggling. Lock it back, make sure you do that. And then just put the holder into it. And again, close the latch to lock it. Now it's secure, we're gonna reinstall Windows 10. So I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 10 on it. Okay, connect all the cables and the actual power code. And then that would be ready for Windows 10 installation. All right, so now we should have one bootable USB thumb drive which is this one it does have windows 10 in uefi format okay and if you don't have then you can install the legacy one so i'm going to connect it right now and uh, once the this one connected make sure you do turn it off by pressing and holding down the power button and turn it back on at the same time press f2 okay once you press f2 it's going to give you temporary boot menu which one would show you all the accessible way for the boot as he plugged in the usb then we're going to select the usb usb storage and then hit enter once you hit enter then it's going to take directly to the windows installation okay and the setup page would come out sometimes it takes a little bit of time it depends how much ram you do have how fast processor you do have and stuff like that so now we're going to click next, you know, as you wish, choose whatever you want to choose, the time, currency and all those stuff. And then we need to hit next and the setup is going to be started. It takes like about 30, 20 to 30 minutes. As I said, it depends on what you have. Accept the terms and condition and we're going to wait until it finish and the actual SSD upgrade and the system upgrade would be done and it would be ready to use. So let's do it together. Now this is nearly ready, it's going to be starter and that's all. Now the system should be much more faster than before. I hope you do like this video, if you do please thumbs up and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.